Let's look at a chemical reaction and determine what temperature range it will be favorable for. So where is delta G negative? The chemical reaction, carbon dioxide and calcium oxide forming calcium carbonate, the formation of limestone essentially. So for this reaction, delta H standard is about minus 200 kilojoules per mole, and delta S is about 200 joules per mole Kelvin. The question I have, what temperature range is this reaction spontaneous as written? Is it less than 1,000 degrees, around 1,000 degrees, or more than 1,000 degrees? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for every answer. A, delta H and T delta S balance around 1,000 K. So below 1,000, delta G is negative. B, the reaction is spontaneous where delta G is zero, so around 1,000 K. Or C, the reaction is exothermic, so delta G less than zero will occur at high temperature. Think about those three possible explanations and make a selection. We're looking at carbon dioxide and calcium oxide forming calcium carbonate. Now, the standard enthalpy difference for that chemical reaction is 200 kilojoules per mole. The standard entropy, 200 joules per Kelvin mole. So kilojoules and joules, a factor of 1,000 between the two. Now, delta S is negative, so if I'm talking about the free energy, I have a minus T delta S contribution. The Minus T delta S contribution with a minus delta S will have a positive overall contribution. That is, delta S minus, T always positive, and a negative sign in front of that makes that contribution always positive. So delta S and delta H balance at 1,000 degrees. They're different by a factor of 1,000. And we can look at, well, what about when the temperature is greater than 1,000 or less than 1,000? Well, greater than 1,000, then delta G will be positive because then the T delta S term will be bigger than the delta H term and the T delta S term will be positive. For temperatures less than 1,000, then the T delta S term is less than magnitude the delta H term. So this positive contribution is smaller than this negative contribution, so overall delta G is negative. So this reaction is spontaneous for temperatures less than 1,000 degrees. The correct answer here is A.